So I want to challenge your definition of perfection and redefine it, hopefully, probably, with this revelation that I got and sharing it with you. So God took me back to the scripture in Matthew 3 verse 17 where Christ got baptized and when he came up, the spirit descended on him like a dove and God was like, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. So today I want to switch that, my beloved son, into beloved daughter and claim that over you. No, before we even start with this discussion, that you are his beloved daughter and he's well pleased with you. So what is perfection? Perfection is God, right? Because God is perfect. He doesn't make a mistake. He definitely didn't make a mistake when he made you and he's not going to make a mistake with you in the future, right? So keeping that in mind, what do we usually claim perfection to be? Whether it's is it being the perfect girlfriend or the perfect daughter or having the perfect personality or dressing the best or having the perfect grades? What do you define as being perfect? And why do you strive for perfection? There is a scripture stating, let us strive for perfection. But why, what does it actually mean? What is he hinting at with our scripture? So first of all, what do we define as perfection? perfection and why do we define it as perfection? I've realized that a lot of the time we strive for perfection in order to gain acceptance. We feel like we're not enough without being perfect, that we somehow missed the goal when we didn't end up being the perfect us we thought we needed to be. But that contradicts with scripture because according to me, when or according to the Bible, when Jesus got baptized and God said, I'm well pleased with you, in other words, I'm proud of you, he, hasn't, he hadn't done anything. He hasn't started his ministry yet. No miracles have been perform was performed before that time, which means that God claimed pride over his son for who he was and not for what he did. So for us, uh, perfection lies in going back, going back to who we are. And the only way to do that and to truly know who we are is through relationship with perfection, right? In other words, God. Having a relationship with God leads us to the ultimate perfection, not in what we do. We can't work our way into heaven. It doesn't work that way. We can't work our way to perfection. We need to die and become and surrender everything and become true daughters of Christ in order to gain the perfection he's made us to be. And so it's not in us. It's not in who we strive to be. It's in acknowledging a relationship with our Father. I read I recently read a quote actually while I was studying drama um, that really struck me with regards to perfection. It said, perfection is achieved not when there is nothing more to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. And that is exactly what it is. Getting perfection is going back to the beginning, to who he's created you to be, to be rebirth, reborn, baptism. We're dead in our flesh. We are alive in the spirit. We're perfect through Christ Jesus, our Lord. We're not who we want to be. We're who he's called us to be. And in that lies perfection. So my challenge for you is to strive for that ultimate perfection. In other words, to strive for a deeper and more intimate relationship with perfection himself. And that is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit.